Romans chapter 10, if you would follow along in the reading in verse 16. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? <clears throat> so then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily their sound went into all the earth, and their words into the ends of the world. But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses saith, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people, and by a foolish nation I will anger you. But Isaiah is very bold and saith, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. But in Israel he saith, all day long I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for the brief time you've given us to look into it. Lord, may you help my unbelief. Uh, may, Lord, you, you increase our faith this morning. May we realize, Father, that uh, we need your help in this area. Uh, Lord, so often we, we trip and stumble around and at the last minute reach out to you. May, Lord... Uh, you be our first source of help, our only source of help, Father. May we look to you this morning for help with this lesson. May Christ have the chief seat. We thank you for your word, for your son, for each individual here this morning. May you speak to hearts as only you can. May, Father, we not just be hearers this morning, but doers. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Verse 16, but they have not all obeyed the gospel, for Isaiah saith, for Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? Look me back at Romans chapter 3, if you would please. Romans 3. As I ask each Sunday, you're going to have to follow along a little bit this morning. Don't be content with just letting the mind wander. Stay by God's grace, stay focused and ask for his help with the lesson this morning. But Romans chapter 3 verse 3, for what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief, I like the way this is put, make the faith of God without effect? God forbid ye let God be true, but every man a liar as it is written that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. You look with me and also in 2 Timothy chapter 2, if you would please, 2 Timothy chapter 2, 2 Timothy 2, <clears throat> Second Timothy chapter 2, if you would please, verse 13. If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful, Amen. he cannot deny himself. And also in Hebrews chapter 4, if you would please, Hebrews chapter 4, book of Hebrews chapter 4. Now if I'm going too fast, somebody, somebody tell me, okay? <laughs> it's really okay. Amen? <laughs> At least I know you're paying attention. Amen? Hebrews chapter 4. Look at verse 2 here. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them. Well, why not? Amen. Not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Mm -hmm. Amen? It's kind of like this lesson this morning, folks. You want to profit from the lesson this morning? Focus on the Word of God and ask God to help you profit from it. Amen? Lord, help increase my faith. That's kind of what this lesson is going to be on this morning. Amen? Read this verse again with me here. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them. Why? Not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Amen. Now, if you look with me in Hebrews chapter 11, great chapter, Hebrews chapter 11. Now faith, in verse 1, is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, 
so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. Why was that? By which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts. And by it he being dead, yet speaketh. Amen. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. And was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony I like this, that he pleased God. Amen. But without faith... Folks, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Now that's the word of God. That's not Brother Amen. Doug. For without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Wow. Amen. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Now look here in verse 7. By faith, Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is, about, which is by faith. You're going to find in this matter of living by faith, there's a matter of yielding of one's own will to the will of God. Amen. Let me say that one more time. In this matter of living by faith, even in this class this morning, there's a matter of yielding of one's will to the will of God. Great. You want something out of the lesson this morning, it takes yielding to God. Amen. No, I'm yielding to you. No, you don't yield to me. Amen? I have enough problem yielding myself most of the time. Amen? But God wants you to live by faith. Amen. But see, that matter of living by faith, you have to exercise one's will. yielding to the working of the Holy Spirit in your life. God has something for each of us here this morning. Praise the Lord. Are there some doubters in our midst? Right here. Amen. Can you imagine what could be done for God if we were of <laughs> greater oh, amen. could move mountains the Bible says. Amen. See you're here this morning. I hope it's not for me. I hope it's not to be seen of man. Amen. Amen. But I hope it's because the word of God is going to be brought as feebly as an attempt by me, but ultimately by God to do the teaching, I pray. Amen. That this morning your faith might be increased. Amen. See, if, it's, if you're just here because it's an exercise, shame on you. Amen. If you're saved this morning, you ought to want to be here. Amen. You ought to want something from the word of God. Again, but without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Again, if we go down to verse 8, By faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should have to receive for an inheritance. Now here's the yielding again. You in Hebrews 11 this morning, verse 8? Yeah. Obeyed. Praise the Lord. Yeah. That's complicated, isn't it? Obeyed. Yeah. And he went out not knowing whether he went. By faith he sojourned in this land of promises in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Look with me in verse 24. By faith Moses... Ah, we'll back up in verse 23, parents. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's commandment. Living by faith with their own son. Amen? Yes. Trusting God to take care of him. You'll find in verse number 24 here, by faith, Moses, when he was come to years, yep, after a while, you're out from underneath, dad, mom. Yes. And in a sense, when you get out from underneath dead mom's roof, amen, you find out a little bit about yourself. True. What do you really believe about God this morning, amen? What do you really believe about living by faith? What do you really believe about a lot of things regarding the word of God? You find out when you get out from underneath dead mom's roof, you find out a little bit about yourself, amen? But most importantly, this morning, look here. When he was come to years, he had to make a choice. Amen. This matter of living by faith is, again, it's, 
It's trusting God and yielding one's own will to God's will. Amen? And trusting God to take care of things. It says here, by faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Now, he gave up a few things. Yes. Amen? Brother Doug, how could he do that? He had it all. He did. Amen? Yeah. In Christ. Amen. Look what it says here. It says, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect under the recompense of the reward. By faith he forsook Egypt. Again, there's that matter of yielding of one's will. You want what's best for God in your life? Amen. It takes yielding. It takes understanding it's God who's supposed to be in charge of your life. If you're bored with the things of God this morning, may I submit for your consideration, you haven't been spending time with your Heavenly Father. <gasps> you know, Brother Doug, you're right. Amen. I get annoyed when somebody tells me that, but you know what? It's the truth. Amen. Yeah. God wants his children to live by faith. Not occasionally, but day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute. Look with me, if you would please, in James chapter 2. I've mentioned it's a matter of yielding. I can talk about living by faith until I'm blue in the face. But you, my actions speak louder than my words. Amen. Prove it. Amen? You say you're saved. How, how does anybody know? Act like it. Amen? You say you're living by faith. How does anybody know? You're the first one to scream and holler and run around pulling your hair out. Amen? Not me, brother Doug. Come on now. Amen? But I'm living by faith. Oh, fiddle dee dee. Amen? What's the first call you make when there's a problem in your life? Who's it to? Now think with me for just for a minute. Who's it to? Amen. Yeah, it should be. Amen. God. Yeah, it tells you a lot about yourself. And really, are you living by faith or by the emotions, the work of the flesh, whatever, you know? Amen. Look here, James chapter 2, verse number 17. Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I'll show thee my faith, how? By my works. Amen. Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well, the devils also believe and tremble. But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? But see, take, go back and study that. There was a matter of yielding of one's will to God. Amen. And trusting and stepping out by faith. Even if he'd offered Isaac, he knew God would bring him back. Amen. Amen. Seest thou how faith wrought with his works, and by works was faith made perfect? And the scripture was fulfilled, which saith Abraham believed God. Notice there's that exercising of one's will. And it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called, I like this, the friend of God. Amen. Amen. Huh? Yeah. Well, I don't have any friends. Oh, come on. Living by faith, you can become a friend of God. Amen. Best friend you can have. Yes. Do you see then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only? Likewise also was not Rahab the harlot justified by works when she had received the messengers and had sent them out another way? For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Amen? Mm -hmm. For by grace you say through faith. We know that. But folks, the proof's in the pudding in some sense. You know what I'm saying? Show me. Yeah. Doesn't save you. Amen. A couple other verses along the same line here. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 2. In 
In 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13, look at this verse here. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. For this cause also thank we God without ceasing, because when ye received the word of God which ye heard of us, ye received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, look at here the comment, the word of God, which effectually worketh also in you that believe. The, again, there's this matter of yielding. Folks, listen, you want to live by faith, be a, stronger, be a stronger Christian, be used better of God, amen, with the time God's give us, ask God to help you learn to yield to the working of the Holy Spirit in your heart and life. Amen? Yes. Step out by faith. Whether it's door knocking, whether it's singing in the choir, you say, I don't need faith. Hey, I need God's help with that. All I can get. Amen. Day-to-day -day living. Parents with children. Folks, think of it. Dads and moms, are you, are you living by faith? Do the children see that? Are you, is it fretting and worrying and everything's a crisis hour by hour, day by day? Amen? Amen? Yeah. In James chapter uh, 1, back to James chapter 1. I don't know about you, but I, 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 I struggle with living by faith. It, it, it's easy, to, folks, listen, it's easy to teach on it. <laughs> That's the easy part. Amen? It's a whole other thing to li Not just to be here, but a doer. Amen? James chapter 1, if you would look with me in verse 18. Again. Of his own will begat he us. Ha, ah, with the word of truth. Yeah. That we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, that may be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness. And receive, notice here, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving your own selves. Amen. Listen, we, look, there's so many scriptures on this we don't have time time this morning to look at it. But let me zero in on one other thing here with the time remaining. Back to Romans 10. <laughs> I was reading these scriptures last night thinking to myself, well, Brother Doug, if you could just grasp some of it. Amen. Yeah. Romans 10 verse 17 we read earlier, but look at these verses with me please. Romans 10 17 again tells us, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I need to be in the word of God. Amen. I need to be around the things of God. I need to spend time with my heavenly father. A great starting point. Amen. Look at me in Psalm 37. Back to Psalm 37. Praise the Lord. You say, Brother Doug, where, 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 where are you going with this? Well, just, just turn to Psalm 37, amen? We're going to Psalm 37. <laughs> amen? Psalm 37, verse 3. Look, there's a great outline here for those of you that like to teach or whatever. But it says, Psalm 37, 3, it says, Trust in the Lord. And I like how God orders this. And do good. Amen? Amen? So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. I like verse 7, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. There's so much in this chapter, but hold that thought. Amen? Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Just, just turn, if you, where are we going? Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Amen? It says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding, and all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. In Isaiah 26, great verses, Isaiah chapter 26, if you'll turn there with me please, Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3. Isaiah 26, verse 3, it says, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Amen. Now, you say, what, what's this all about? 
That's a word of exhortation. Amen. Amen? That's encouragement from the word of God. Trust in the Lord. Delight, commit, rest. I know all these things, Brother Doug. So what's the problem? <laughs> I might have company this morning. Amen? The line forms behind me. Amen? It's a matter of yielding. It's a, Brother Doug, that's too simple. It's a matter of yielding to God's will. Now, Mark chapter 9. Book of Mark chapter 9. Verse 17, and one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which hath a dumb spirit. And wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth him, and he foameth and gnasheth with his teeth, and pineth away. And I spake to thy disciples, that they should cast him out, and they could not. He answereth him, and saith, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And he brought him unto him, and when he saw him, straightway the spirit tear him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed foaming. He asked his father, How long is it since this came unto him? And he said, of a child. Oft times it had cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him, but if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us, help us. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, and this is right where I come in, help thou mine unbelief. I could read the scriptures on the word of exhortation earlier, but folks, at some point, Lord, help me to make application. Amen. Help me to trust in you. Help me to, to, to help me to commit in my way. And help me to rest in you, delight in you. Amen. Lord, help me. Lord, help thou my unbelief. And folks, I, I, I'm most positive most of us can relate to this. We are doubters by nature. <gasps> I'm living by faith, Brother Doug. Oh, come now. Sometimes, right? Amen. 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 It's okay. It's okay. Amen. We're not taking names or anything. The ushers are not recording. Amen. Matthew chapter 14. I don't know if, if I say I can relate to Peter if that's a good thing all the time. But he was... He, I, I give, give Peter credit where it's due. Amen. Uh, by the grace of God. Matthew 14 verse 22. Matthew 14, 22, straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side. Well, he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. When evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. In the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking in the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is his spirit, and they cried out for fear. Straightway Jesus spake unto him, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. He said, Come. When Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Now, folks, I have to confess. Form that picture in your mind. Amen? Amen? Amen. Now, come on. Huh? Give Peter some credit. A little bit. Amen? Amen. See, there's that matter of yielding, isn't there? And that's what Peter did. Lord, if it, come on, Peter. And Peter stepped over the side of that boat. I'm not sure I would have stepped over the side. Lord, if it be thou, well, you come to us. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and that's about the way it is, isn't it? Amen. God wants us to live by faith. Take that first step. Amen. Right? But it's over the side of the boat into the, the sea, Lord. I, that's, it's deep. Amen. It's probably over my head here. Amen. Amen. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid yeah. and beginning to sink. I give him, give him credit here. He, you know, who do you call out to in the crisis? Amen. Lord, save me. 
And folks, there's so much in this lesson. Amen? I'm not doing justice to it. But the little step over the side, it's a start. Amen? It's a starting point. Ask God for help. Amen? You begin to sink, cry out, God help me. Amen? God, God hold me up. Amen? God help keep me going. Because we get looking at the circumstances, I tell you, this week, folks, Sunday's... Amen. It's like the calm before the storm. Amen. But how are you during the storm during the week? Amen. Amen. We can worship God Sunday and I trust, trust God by faith to bless today and take care of things and the services. But God wants us to live the rest of the week for him by faith too. Amen. So when you step over the side of the boat Monday morning. Yes, Monday morning. Amen. God wants you to live by faith then too. Yeah. And when the circumstances of life get going around you during the week and swirling around, God wants you to still live by faith. Amen. We're out of time, but one more here. John chapter 20, you know, said there are some doubters amongst us. I raise my hand. Amen. Yeah. Get behind me. Thomas. It's easy to be hard on Thomas, but folks, I, would we be the same way? John chapter 20, verse number 26, after eight days, again his disciples were within, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace be unto you. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God, Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. Amen. And look at the key here at the end of this chapter. And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But folks, these are written. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. I'm thankful this morning, folks, ultimately for my Heavenly Father's faithfulness. And we'll close with this, if you would please, in the book of Lamentations. Oh, amen. Chapter 3. Ultimately, it's God's faithfulness towards us, folks. Amen. Lamentations chapter 3, you know these verses... Verse 21, this I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul, therefore will I hope in him. Folks, we're out of time this morning. We'll have to stand and be dismissed with a word of prayer. God wants us to live by faith. Walk by faith, not by sight. Let's stand and be dismissed with a word of prayer. Amen. Oh, thank you for your...